How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews. Back to yet another review with this guy, Keith, 93 Lumber. Say Hi. what's up. Hello, what's there up? You. There you go. We are sitting outside in the frigid cold. What's today? 19 degrees, maybe? Uh, I think it was, I think right now it's like, tw like high 20s, or actually it might be colder now. Yeah. It's like, probably like mid 20s, but with like a wind chill of like, teens. Low teens. Yeah. 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 Something yeah. like that. Yeah. So we uh, made, it, made a little makeshift hut, got a little heat that's kind of working, sort of, uh, coming down here, and that's not going to stop us from hanging out and chugging some beers, and we're doing a little bit of Nelson from Hill Farmstead. You've had this before. I don't know if I've had I've it before. Had, uh, was it one of the ones that I got when I was up there? I don't know. I think I might have gotten it from someone else. Yeah. I probably had it before either in a share or when I went up there or stuff like that, but I don't remember reviewing one, but we're going to review it now. This comes courtesy of my boy Max. Actually, the one I had might have been Double, double Nelson. Nelson maybe? That's what it was because it was a small green can. Yeah. Well, actually, they just started putting like these ones in 16 ounce cans, so. Uh, Curious to see how I made out this time. Let's see. I'm getting better, bud. Yeah. It's shorter, yeah, hair. Just about. Not that one, so we're close, though. So there you go. Um, yeah, this comes from my boy Max. He sent off a bunch of beers. Um, we just did an alt beer um, from Suarez, so we figured might as well keep it going with the the Hill Hill Farmstead family <laughs> tree of breweries and uh, do a little bit of uh, Nelson and, and do our kind of uh, our toast to them not being open anymore, at least for several months, because they just do what they want. That looks like orange juice. No, it doesn't. It looks like the... the looks like pineapple juice. Pi pineapple juice. <laughs> or like pear juice or, or something. Or like, or orange pineapple juice. There you go. Yeah, it, it has that kind of lightness to it, a little bit lighter than your typical kind of orange juice. Unless it's like, unless it's like, um, like Dollar Star OJ, where they water it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of how it looks. It's got a nice little creamy, yet not that big kind of fluffy head on it. Soft, cool carbonation. Get a nose while I spill everything. I'm not getting a huge nose off of this, to be honest with you. This is exactly one month old. I mean, I'm getting that typical... I mean, I know it's a very generic thing to say, but... Hill Farmstead Hazy thing. I get that. And we're also... We can't forget we're not doing IPA or double IPA. We're doing a pale ale here. Did they throw the ABV okay. on here? Uh, all their pale ales are five. Five? So it's a smaller beer. Yeah. And this is one of the... Uh, this is one of those bonus cans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where they screwed yeah. up and they put mosaics and they just took a, a, a marker and just marked <laughs> it off. <laughs> Oh uh, man, that's uh, I, I've I've made that mistake, and I work professionally in fucking industrial graphics. But it, you know what it smells like to me, it, and this could be a placebo effect. It does smell like a pear, a pear to me. That's that's so weird because I was thinking that, and I was like, "There's no way that's like." Yeah, like, like you it, think it my, looks like that? My brain might just be. It's it could be the power just... of suggestion, <laughs> but it has pear vibes to me. I'm just saying. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. But yeah, it smells really nice. Yeah, like, uh, maybe like a little over right? Like, when yeah. it gets, like, starts to get hard. Yeah, right, well, yeah, 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 like yeah. A little yeah. bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just dive in. Cheers. Ooh, I just snorted it. Ugh. I could drink 8 billion of these. And I'm going to say something I oh. think Keith will agree with, but a bunch of you will find... Probably a little bit controversial. This tastes like a more vibrant version of Jenny Dry Up. Yeah, it has it has a little bit of that um, hop thing from the thing. Like a hop burn, kind of. Not just uh, the greenness. Yeah, there's or, a greenness I, to it, but it's not like gra it's a palette green. Yeah, it's not like grassiness or danky or anything yeah. like that. But there's this the, cool. I'm just saying that because the cream ale did not have that. No, no, and that's why I said a more vibrant, more pu push up yeah. version. Because the cream ale for me, uh, for you, it went straight up like pineapple out of this world. And I would go pineapple here, but I would go like soft pineapple that Pear was talking about. And to bring it home, probably the most prominent thing in the taste for me is honeydew melon. Tastes like a really nice, well done ripened honeydew melon to me. I can see that. 
Yeah, I'm digging this. This does not suck. Again, I mean, it's kind of like... I don't really get the pineapple. It's more pear and the honeydew, like you said. But it... It tastes like pineapple without the acidity to me, if that makes any sense. Under-ripened pineapple, I guess you would say. But man, that pear, the pear honeydew thing is really just the the, the, the big thing in there that's really kind of bringing it home. And it, uh, it's fantastic. I mean, listen. It's so weird. What's mm. weird? Mm-hmm. I don't think I've gotten pear in a beer before. Well, I probably have. I just couldn't. I just, my brain was probably thinking something. It was something else. I, when <laughs> I get pear, I get super excited because it's my favorite. Like, pear is my, might be my favorite fruit. Heads down. The only problem is pears have like a a ripe for usually about three hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're underripe, and then like if you don't eat them and eat them in that like three hour window, they're then they're just trash. You know what I mean? They're mush trash. So it's like the hardest one to get right. Um, but it, 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 I've gotten pear on several beers, not a ton, and I've gotten this really vibrant, mowing long green grassiness off beers. Those are my two favorite things when it comes to uh, IPAs and pale ales. If so, one day when I get those paired up, I'm just going to jizz all over the screen and put this on Pornhub instead of YouTube. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's going to happen. Please, somebody do that for me. <laughs> Man. It's almost like more like pear skin, it smells like. Hmm. Yeah. I'm more like pear, pear skin. Yeah. Super soft. Like, it's soft. It's pillowy soft. Like, it's so... You can drink it. It's just like pillowy goodness going up inside you. Delicious beer. I don't know what else you want me to say. Anything to add? No. Is it one of the better pale ales you've had as of late? Probably. Yeah. For me, too. Might not be Mount Rushmore Sinus, um, but as far as if I were to kind of whittle it down and say is it one of the more drinkable crushable like sessionable pale ales I've had as of late yeah without a doubt I mean there's one there's been beers that have been more vibrant for me um on the pale ale side of things but that's not necessarily mean it's better um as far as drinkability goes it's fantastic um I'm, actually I don't know if I've had many pale ales recently they've all been IPAs and double IPAs and triple IPAs what um what's uh what's Hill Farms that's pricing on their pale ales do you know I think that is 16 14 I don't know cuz I'm not sure about the 16 ounce cans I know like the like the base pale ales for the six packs when they were in six packs were was 14 or 16 yeah I, I let's put it this way it's and I don't think this is just because ooh it's Hill Farmstead I've never bought a Hill Farmstead four pack or six pack and went man that's overpriced like I've never felt that way Maybe there's a little bit of Ooh Hill Farmstead in there, but I've never felt that way. Um, I would say it's brewery only, but apparently if you live in random states for some unknown reason, you win a lottery, it's not brewery only. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like It's like, hey, if you live in PA in Virginia, you can buy your beer online. Why? <laughs> Who knows? Um, <laughs> uh, probably because they were closing down and they were just trying to get rid of yeah, shit. Yeah. But why PA in Virginia? Because uh, you can ship to those states. They're the only two states you can ship to. No. That's what I'm saying. Like, why in PA in Virginia? Because they're cheaper to ship to than Maybe. other I don't states. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, the, the company they use, I forget who they are. They probably have some kind of deal with those states or something like that. Anyway. And leave you with if you like what we like. So if you like soft, pillowy, crushable pale ales that drink epically fantastic, you know, like this. Yeah. There you go. It's very good. Yeah. Where do they find you? On the 90, internets. You can find me at 93 Lumber on YouTube. And Instagram, that's spelled out, 93, lumber. And yeah. Dog barks, that's how you find me. Uh, yeah, Massive Beers, you already know how to find me, you're here. Uh, Massive Beers and uh, Instagrams and Beer Massive for the old podcasting thing. If he'll, if uh, Sean ever gets back to me, we're going to interview him. Yeah, it'll happen one day. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully you're staying warm right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>